Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new tips and tricks on a very very old projector. It is called Droidbox Go LED projector. So you can see that even with the lights on this side and also in the bottom that it is very vibrant and you will be able to get roughly about 120 inch out of this. Remember that the native resolution on this is 480i but you will be able to intake up to 1080p. It looks beautiful, it has everything that you need just like your Android box, but there are some downfalls since we have reviewed this two years ago, 2016 November. So here we go, how we are able to manage to get around that. So first, this has been requested by a bunch of users that are using this projector or using the Odin edition of the same projector that has 8 gigabyte in total storage to 32 gig. And these are all coming with 1 gigabyte of RAM, so that is following just like your Android boxes. This is how easy it is to process and play with this. Yes, you can hook up a air mouse remote to this and you can see it right now that I am moving the mouse and I'm able to show you a few things so it does have clear cache here any of your apps that is running in the background you will be able to get rid of it it does show all the storage and everything here for you too but my problem is Wi-Fi so if I go to settings and by the way this is using OS 4.4 just to show you guys going all the way in the bottom under about device it is 4.4 and you cannot update this or upgrade this because of the chipset itself. Most of the projectors that I have played with, all of them are running the Rock chip chipsets. It's a good chipset, but again, it has its own downfall. Remember that it has Bluetooth already built in. When we went inside of the settings, I'll just go back in there. You can see that the Bluetooth on this is there and yes, you can connect your speakers to it. It also have a headset jack on the side, which I'm showing right now. You can connect that to your Bluetooth speaker or if you have a bigger speaker it can connect the sound will come really good out of it now it does say ethernet it doesn't have an ethernet connection so that's one thing that don't worry about it has an hdmi connection right here and once you connect it you will be able to connect your other android box or if you have an xbox or if you have any gaming console you can connect to it and you can play video games through it and that's what we're going to show you how that is possible so that way you're not going to have your internet problems just like what we had you have more access to your content through your Android box as I'm showing right now. I am using the MyGK495 Max, which has a Android TV OS into it. And that's what you're going to see on the screen. And you can see that certain parts on the screen has been updating and that's fine. Now you have the latest software on your screen. That's not the only thing. And I know that I'm projecting a little small, so this way we're going to be able to capture and show you all the screen, everything that is possible. And by the way, I want to mention one more thing that I have used this as a secondary monitor for my computer while I was doing editing in a hotel. This is beautiful. It works perfectly for you. You do not have to carry another monitor beside it. We will be making a video for that in the future. But for the meantime, here you go. This is what we have done to connect our Droidbox DLP Go projector. So this is, I know that this is not DLP, but I do not know why I keep calling it DLP. It is very clear, just like a DLP projector. Maybe that is why. But here you go. So this is my screen right now. And when I want to cast, I'll just have to press on it. And I know that uh, this will play our voice. So I apologize for it. And I'm going to uh, press down the volume. So this way we can talk and we're going to show you. So once you go to it, you will have a little icon on the top. You have to press it and then it will tell you to connect to the 495 Max. And now we're using YouTube to play our own video for this projector itself. And you can see that it is very loud. So I'm using my remote to bring down the volume. And there you go. Now we will be able to watch anything that is on your phone through your 495 Max. Or if you have a different type of Android box, you can use different softwares that are out there. Something like EasyCast, which is a free software. You can use that. And the Pro version do cost, but the free version will still do the job just like what is doing it right now but if we totally turn off the lights let's see how it will look so we will just shut off the this light and then we will shut off the room light 
there is still some light around like our table lamp in the back and I know that it's flickering a little bit because of the how I'm capturing it today but now you can see that it got a lot better and now it's a lot cleaner for you to see it and it's the same thing that what you're trying to do with the other projectors that are out there but this one is really good projector I really like this it has been two years that I'm using it and that's why I thought I should just make a little tips video on how you can still use it if you have problem with your Wi-Fi or if you have problem with the OS itself you can factory reset to make everything go back to old mining itself but this is really good just to let you guys know that you can play around and you, you will be still be able to take advantage of it I've been using this non-stop I've been going around and I'm taking this with me for any kind of conventions that I have seen and this really helped me out to stay on top of things. I do have different projectors. We will be bringing other videos with that so that way we can show you how you can split screens or also if you want to see which one is a lot better, go ahead, ask in the bottom of the video. We will be making videos and we will be showing you side by side which one would look better and which ones are still in the market that you can buy and which one will last you longer. This one has been two years and uh, video that you're seeing right now on the screen is the one that we made in November of 2016 and now it's April actually May of 2019 and we're still talking about this projector and we're still using it yes guys it does show good speeds on the Wi-Fi itself but we did start seeing some little decrease to it and we start having little problems with it so don't worry it still works and it does really show you everything properly on the screen the colors didn't fade away or anything yet it is an awesome projector if you are looking to purchase one of these please go ahead ask at the bottom of the video we love to provide some links for you guys when we purchased this before it was in a discount and i know that i have reviewed the droid box version of this and also the odin version of this too and they both of them give me really good ratings on youtube so and if you have more questions please ask we love to give you more tips and tricks so this was our take after two years of using this projector make sure you give us a thumbs up on this video also subscribe to this channel make sure you click the the notification icon if you have a question drop them at the bottom of the video keep your eye on this channel for giveaways that is coming up and we are also going to go live very shortly and also visit our website which is xctext.info and thank you